Okay, man, I'm just going to finish up this week, talk once again a little bit about Samson. We've been talking about Samson's compromise, that he eventually compromised to the degree that he lost his strength. He became like a mere man, and that's the aim of the devil, is to cause you to become like a mere man. And I talked these last couple days about the landmarks that our fathers have set. And really, just my question to you. How strong? I mean, most men, I mean, I know as I've gotten older, you know, physically my strength isn't what it used to be, and, and I'm aware of that. At times I go to pick up things or I, I go to do things that maybe in my 20s I, I wouldn't even have to think about, but in my 50s I have to think a little bit different because I recognize that there's not that same physical strength that I once had. And in the same sense, I can also recognize my spiritual strength. I, I can recognize when I'm strong, when I've got that spiritual force on the inside of me, but I can also recognize when it's not there. Now, when it's not there, maybe it means my devotion, my prayer time, my word time, some things, some things I need to work on. But I might just challenge you in the midst of all that you are doing and maybe some of the liberty that people have said that we can take now, are you stronger? Are you more powerful spiritually? Can you prophesy and it peel the pain on the walls? Can, can you lay hands on people? I mean, are, do your words have power? Does, is there anointing in your life? Is there greater strength in you? Are you able to face your enemies and drive them off? Or, let me ask you something. Are your enemies overcoming you? Are your enemies binding you? And it could be a result of compromise in your life. The beautiful thing about Samson is he began to grow his hair. He began, the end of the story is this, he went back to his devotion, his commitments to God, and he got his strength back. I want to challenge you men. If you've compromised, you've given up on some of your consecration, your dedication, your devotion to God, and it's made you weaker, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to stay weak. You can become strong again. And you say, how can I become strong again? Get back to your devotion. Areas that you've compromised, stop compromising. Get back to the house of God. Get back to serving God. Get back to tithing. Get back to speaking well of your pastor. Get back to reading your Bible. Get back to your prayer time. Get back to the altars of God. Get back to your devotion with God and you'll find your strength will begin to come once again and you'll begin to drive off the enemies.